suddenly we awake. We find ourselves in a world, a very green world, almost unnaturally so. As we look around, we realize that this place is composed of blocks. We can left click to place one and right click to remove a block. A simple concept, but one that could be quite powerful. Perhaps we will make a nice little house. But as we begin the search for a good place, it becomes quickly apparent that we are not alone in this strange world. Far from it. There are hundreds of beings scattered about, flailing their arms wildly and moving around with no sense of direction. We approach the edge of the world and accidentally step over the ledge. As we fall, we see that those other characters are found here as well. The void below is speckled with tiny dots of the unsettling figures. The world is above us now, moving increasingly out of reach, and the beings fall with us, unseeing, unknowing, their arms flailing forever. Twelve times Pokemon brutally died in Pokemon! Explained! From dying of old age to getting burnt to death, these are the top 12 times Pokemon have brutally died in Pokemon! And I'm gonna be ranking these deaths from the least brutal working our way up to the most brutal death! 